On the eighth night of protests in downtown Detroit, marchers again call for justice and change late into the night. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 11. As we've seen the past three nights, protesters rallying well past the city's 8 p.m. curfew. Jason Colthorpe is live outside Detroit Police Headquarters, where tonight's march ended after nearly five hours. And Jason, were there any incidents tonight? Zero incidents to report, Kim, uh, but that's not to say it was peaceful because as one of the co-organizers told me last night, these aren't meant to be peaceful. They are loud. They are chanting so people can hear them. They're taking up entire city streets. However, for a fifth straight night, they were absolutely nonviolent. Protesters hit the streets early Friday, marching for justice, and on this eighth night, stopping to honor history. You are all, you are all, in a tradition, in a tradition of history. Of history. They paused at the spot where the uprising began in 1967, Claremont and Rosa Parks. 67, I saw 12th Street on fire. I saw Linwood on fire. I'll never forget seeing people in the middle of Dexter throwing cash registers up and down until they broke open. Several neighbors watched and chanted along. I love the fact that the police is helping them guide them through, so it's make it more peaceful and make it more united because everybody matters. At times, the crowd shouted for people to join them. And a few times, they did. And when they started chanting with us again, we thought we would just hold out our signs again. And then they made us come and down. And then they so said march with us. Yeah. So we were like, we have to finish it. Why did you want to bring the boys down? Actually, he told me to come. I he was did. Just, yep. I, we were by the house and they were marching by the house and my oldest son said, let's go ahead and march with them. And I said, why not? Because if white people are going to march in the rain, why not can black people can't? The protesters broke curfew again. But police were only there to guide a path to the west side and back to DPD headquarters. We walked the whole way with these folks tonight. And I got to tell you, after walking so many miles this week with them and talking to so many, just marching and you hear some of it a little bit means so many things to so many people. So uh, I'm glad you get to hear some of that. By the way, there was a second group uh, that did not march. It was led by 16 year old Stefan Perez. You met him earlier this week. His group sat and did kind of a question and answer thing. And uh, I know some of the protesters I did talk to would have preferred that after going. 13 miles tonight out and back. Uh, and by the way, they are planning to go again tomorrow. Guys, we're reporting live in downtown Detroit. Send it back to you. Yeah. Oh, J Jason, we appreciate it. And from downtown Detroit.